This is my honest review of cucumbers and things that we've learned over the years. So come on in. Um, so this year what we did is we have a planter box filled with different variety of cucumbers. In years past, we have put them out in our field and just kind of fence them in to keep animals away. And one of the bigger things I've noticed with cucumber failures that we have experienced is cross-pollination. Last year specifically, we had a lot of cross-pollination between um, our pumpkins and our cucumbers because they were too closely planted. So we got some pretty wonky ones. We actually got quite a few orange ones, which when I first saw them, I thought maybe they were just like rotting. But then after cutting into them, I realized that they were cross-pollinated with the pumpkin. So they made a unique color and tasted disgusting. Um, so I wouldn't grow them near like fruit, like pumpkins or other squash. So this year we did them in here and they're flourishing wonderfully. I did overplant. That is something I do with cucumbers. And to be honest, overplanting with them isn't that big of a deal. We haven't had an issue with it and that's why I do it because then if some don't come up for whatever reason, we still know we're gonna have plenty. And they vine out like crazy. Um, again, this year I overplanted a little bit more than I usually do. So, but they are still doing really fabulous. Um, they're growing and flourishing and the flowers are doing great. As you'll notice, I'm wearing my gloves again. And if you watched our zucchini video, um, that is one of the bigger things I've learned with cucumbers also, same with the zucchini is gloves because they have these pricklies all in here and when you're picking your hands just get tore up and i used to just never wear gloves for whatever reason so biggest thing i've learned with them gloves 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 and then um, also if you have long sleeve shirts that helps too so you don't scrape your arms it's too hot today to bother with that though so check out all these flowers we have a ton of cucumbers already growing and it looks like we're gonna have a ton more We've got bees in here like crazy and other little pollinators, but there are flowers everywhere. And if you look real close, I got a ton of different cucumbers. I did plant a few different variety and there doesn't seem to be any cross pollination um, between these variety, but they're growing great. They're expanding everywhere. With cucumbers, one of the things I learned is, um, you gotta know kind of when to pick them. You don't wanna wait too long because they will rot on the ground. So you just wanna keep an eye on them to make sure you're not wasting them. But they're a really easy fruit to grow also. That's also something I learned is cucumbers are actually a fruit and not a vegetable. Kind of a dumb fact, but when I looked it up, I was pretty amazed because I always thought they were a vegetable, but they're actually a fruit. This is a little bit different than how we've done in the past because we used to grow them in the field, which worked okay. But I like what we did this year, which is we put them in the planter boxes, which you can't tell because they're so overgrown. But if I move some leaves, you can actually see that, yes, they are in planter boxes. And I like that because there's minimal weeding. We did barely any weeding at the very beginning when they were sprouting through, but now they just overtook everything. So you don't even have to worry about the weeds. Another thing that we did this year that worked really great is not having them in the field, but having them in the netted greenhouse area to keep all of our other farm animals out, which was a big help to us because we did have issues in prior years where we'd get chickens in there and they would just heck the cucumbers and it was such a pain. So this has worked really well for us. So if you do have animals and a garden, you do need to fence them out. That makes it a ton easier and one less battle. We also haven't planted this year in this open air area. This used to be covered in plastic. So having this open, you get that fresh air in, you get less leaf rot and mildew, and it just really helps with the disease of the plant to have that fresh flow of air coming through. And it's worked really great for us. We haven't honestly had too many failures with cucumbers. I do feel like if you're a beginner gardener or really at any stage, they're a good one to grow because they're minimal work. Besides weeding and planting, there isn't many problems with it. We have had a few bug infestations, nothing crazy. When we have done that, we've used um, 
diatomaceous earth, which worked really well as long as you get that on the plant right away when the bugs are really small before they get really big. If you wait too long and the bigs get really big, you're gonna or the bugs get really big, you're gonna have more of a battle getting rid of them. So the key with them is getting when they're really little and then that diatomaceous earth just wipes them out and you don't have a problem after that. We did have one year where we didn't use that. I tried neem oil and that just did not work with them. The bugs got too big and just absolutely destroyed that particular plant section we had. We were lucky that year where we had them planted in a few different spots. So we did have cucumbers, but not nearly as much as we should have had. So I would recommend diatomaceous earth so this is my honest review of cucumbers. And if you wanna check out what we did last year and the varieties that we did last year, check out this video here.